Monica skin shines because it has a dry skin surface so it bounces light. The more we moisturize it the better but she has slightly oily eyelids so I'll apply bronzer over. This is a mineral powder bronzer just to make the eyeshadow last far longer and I'll tap it. Don't forget to tap 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 don't drag same procedure as always cold pencil I'll make a thicker line so I'll really blend it outwards because I'll make cat's eyes she has almond shaped eyes so I want to even elongate them blend 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 downwards as fast as you can because otherwise this thing will dry and you see how Lancome is a better pencil than this L'Oreal because this one just makes patches look it's an okayish pencil, but still I prefer Lancome far more. Chica Bellas! Remember when I did that video, searching for models in London? Tada! Magic happened! Veronica called me and she's like, I'm your big fan, I want to be in your makeup video tutorial. And I'm like, hell yeah, awesome! The best part is that she's 42 years old. Yeah, you won't believe, 42 which is exactly the model I was looking for and because she's Venezuelan she has quite a common challenge discoloration of the skin so around the mouth the skin is slightly more uh, grayish also dry and here as well and she has red cheeks especially because I have new light it was so hot like this light is crazy hot I'll uh, show you how to do makeup to even out the skin tone this is a summer makeup trick because it's hot we all sweat in here because we have this <laughs> new light because i bought the new light yeah so veronica is the first one close it that is trying how hot it is <laughs> i actually don't know how to explain you but veronica just suits cold colors you know even though she's warm brown and she would look awesome with those orangey yellow undertones she also suits cold undertone so I'm applying silver this is sterling caviar stick by uh, Laura Mercier which is also waterproof so it's perfect for summer and I can just tap it over tap 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 look just the edge and slightly blend it so I'm pulling it a bit this is awesome to do with your finger you know no hustle you'll see now my favorite foundation this is just awesome no foundation foundation by Pericon for her skin this is magic it's not heavy like um, NARS nice sheer glow or what do you use uh, Too Faced Too Faced born this way yeah this is a very natural foundation that is silicon based but it doesn't clog your pores so it's just very hydrating and it turns into your skin the only thing is that I need to tap it slightly more over the cheeks because they're reddish especially this one maybe she's more hot on her left side because <laughs> the light is angled now we need to wait for this to sink in and she'll stop shining and in meantime look we'll take the redness out as usually here on the cheeks Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> blend 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 just tap it tap it all over because this time I put a uh, color corrector over, you see, over. That's why I need to tap it, eh? it will blend in. I'll give you the triangle of light. So this is Peach Yves Saint Laurent neutralizer. I put a bit too much on, so I wipe it off. And then tap, 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 tap it over. Because this will hydrate it. For some touche clay is too dry, you know. If you have very dry skin, touche clay won't be the best idea. Look, I'll take the redness out of the cheeks by applying number seven. This is kiss and blush here on the cheekbone. This will make her eyes pop as well, but mainly it will take the redness out. Especially like now that it's hot, you know, when this will melt and the foundation will wear off a bit so her natural redness will start shining through this will prevent it because it's orange 
I'll sculpt the eyebrows. With Yves Saint Laurent number four, this is a grayish pencil that if you use too much, it's too shiny. It would just bounce light. But if I do it like this, first of all, it matches her eyes. And I just want to fill eyebrows in so they get a bit more definition. I'm not sculpting them. I'll bronze her up a bit because I want to give her this golden glow. That's why I'm using a fan brush because I want to be, I want to make this application very, very thin. So I first start tapping it and then I drag it over. Now this is a really cool brush if you want a very thin application of powder that won't cake up but will just slightly mattify your skin. Veronica has an oval face, so I'll contour it here because she wears her hair down. <laughs> this is very dark. <laughs> but I'll just blend it in. Look, blending her hairline. This is beautiful for her. My MAC Dark Concealer Palette. Look, because it has this reddish undertone. And she will look just kissed from above. Yeah, sun kissed from above, like I always say. Okay. Do, 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 do. L'Oreal 302 Bois de Rose. It's quite a natural lip color. Looks slightly lighter. So it's her lip color here in the middle. Whereas if I go over the edge, I make it lighter, you see? So I'll even out her lips. And the edge will just fade. So when you do this, you can apply lip gloss or a sheer lipstick all over and it doesn't matter if you go over the edge I am so happy that Veronica called me because since I did that video, I got quite a couple of uh, fans that I'll host in my YouTube video. So you'll see who's in this big happy family. I bought a new light, finally. And the reason why I bought it is because I really want to show you the skin texture. I told you this a couple of times, but why this is important is because if you are able to see the redness in the skin and also like where skin is slightly more grayish, you'll also be able to see if the skin is a bit more oily or dry. So when I'll be using different foundations, because now I'll start buying different foundations that, you know, will have more fun, you'll be able to know whether the foundation suits your face or not. So if it suits your skin tone, because this is really hard to show on the camera. And I hope I did an awesome choice buying this light because it was um, pretty much a year of research. And the light is really hot, like really, really hot, which will be a bit of a problem now uh, during the summer in London because we don't have aircon in my apartment. But on the second hand, it will melt makeup a bit. So you'll be able to see how makeup would look uh, if you would be wearing it for a longer time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to my newsletter so you'll be the first one to know when I launch this makeup video tutorial recommendation site and I'll see you next time. Don't be fools, don't follow makeup rules. Mm -hmm.